To solve simultaneous equations, we need to be able to add and subtract equations. So in this case, what we're going to do is subtract the bottom equation from the top. Before we do any subtracting, we need to make sure that the variables align. And we can see here that in blue, we've got the terms involving A. And then in red, we've got the terms involving B. And we've got the constant terms on the right-hand side of the equals in green. So to perform the subtraction, it's often wise to put a small minus between the terms. And that way, we can take extra care when we're working with terms involving positives or negatives. So 6a minus 4a gives us 2a. In the next column, we've got 5b minus negative 2b, and that means it's like adding. So 5b plus 2b gives us 7b. And in the last column, we've got 21 minus negative 2, which gives us 23. So you'll notice here, all we've done is subtracted two equations. We haven't gone through the process of solving the simultaneous equations. To do that, what you might want to try is multiply everything in the top equation by 2, and everything in the second equation by 3. If you do that, you'll have matching A terms. In other words, you've got 12A in both the first equation and second equation. By subtraction, they're eliminated, and you'll be left with 16B equals 48. You can solve for B, and once you get a solution for B, you can substitute it back into one of those equations and get a solution for A.